Today I'm going to work on my newsletter. So I have a series of articles that have already been written and I want to pull them together into my newsletter. Now rather than opening these up and copying and pasting, what I'm going to do is use a tool that a lot of people aren't aware of. When you click on insert there is a group that's called text. You can see I'm pointing to it here. And under text there is a button that will say insert object. Now some of you may have used this before. If this screen looks familiar, you have seen it. So it's an opportunity for you to say, okay, I want to insert an object. It's already in a file, so I'm going to click browse. Here is my article and I click insert and I click OK. And to look at this you're thinking, OK, I'm off to a great start. The only problem with this though is when you insert using insert object, you actually insert something that is like clip art. And with us doing a newsletter we want to have the flexibility to make design changes, we're going to apply columns, we're going to do a bunch of really cool things to this. So when you want to bring in information from other sources and you don't want to sit there and copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste, you can use the insert and again in the text group go to object but if you notice there's a little pull down arrow and when you click on the arrow you see you have the option to insert the text from file. Now this is great because what it does is it goes into the file that you're interested in and pulls all the text out but then you have the flexibility to then do whatever you want. It's as if you had typed it all without typing a thing. Now I'm going to repeat that process. I'll insert text from file. Let's see, the next article I want to work with is my navigation file. There's that article and again insert text from file and this time I'll use the Outlook article. I am going to go to the top and I am going to put in my title of my newsletter, a message from the Queen. And I'll go ahead and do a enter and put in my tagline. Okay, now I would like to center these two pieces so I could go to home and use my center button. That would certainly work, but there is a keyboard shortcut which is simply Control E. Now I will select my title text. I'd like to do some kind of fun, dramatic heading for my newsletter. And I think I will choose Chicago. Yes, I like this. And I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. And I think that's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and select our tagline and for the font I am going to use copper plate, copper plate Gothic and I'd like to bring these together a little bit more so there's not quite as much of a separation. So what I can do is from the page layout tab look at the spacing and reduce the spacing between the two and now I think actually I will make that just a little bit bigger so it spans from margin to margin. Now at this point I'm feeling pretty happy with what I've got so I'm going to save and I will use control S to do a quick save and we will call this um, newsletter and save. All right, that's step one of creating our newsletter. We'll take the next steps in our next session, so tune in.